The semi was just a few feet from apartment buildings where people were sleeping. We're following a developing story in Wellington this morning. One man is dead after that semi crashed into a parking structure. Nine News reporter Nick McGill is in Wellington. Nick, gosh, this is a terrible situation on so many levels. A, a very terrible situation indeed. Uh, I just spoke with a Colorado State Patrol uh, deputy who told me uh, that this could have been a lot worse. So I want to push in here and give you a closer look at the damage. You can see here that's a semi truck resting there in between a garage. Uh, CSP told me that around 4.15 a.m. Uh, a semi driver was coming down uh, front to drove eastbound where it veered off the road and crashed into the Wellington Village Apartments detached garages here. Uh, unfortunately, that driver was killed in the crash and the semi is now resting in between three to four uh, separate detached garages. It's in between those garages uh, as a matter of fact, but it's only a few feet away uh, from the apartment complex itself. There's a very narrow road right there that's separating the semi uh, and the apartment complex. So obviously uh, that truck could have easily gone into the apartment complex where people were sleeping uh, here this morning, but you can see the extensive uh, amount of damage uh, that is uh, in this uh, garage area here. And if I zoom out just a little bit, uh, I can show you, uh, you can see that those tracks there uh, where the truck uh, came off uh, of this road. Uh, CSP says it's going to be at least a few hours here before they can even uh, begin to start to clean up this uh, scene here. Uh, naturally, because the truck is stuck inside of these garages, it's going to take uh, quite some time before it's pulled out. But the sad news this morning, that driver uh, was killed in this crash. We still don't know what caused this driver to veer off the road. If it was a mechanical problem with his truck or maybe something else, uh, they're hoping to uh, get those answers within the next coming hours. But uh, we're going to be here all morning long, guys, and bring you updates. Gosh, all right, Nick, thank you so much.